I am going to show you how to configure TV head in server to work on open ELAC. The first thing we have to do is put in your IP address that your uh, box is, then type in 991. Go to configuration, and the first screen you're going to see, you select your language, which is mine, English. And you scroll down. Now I have my own channel icons already stored in a separate folder. So I just put that address here. And that's where the mine are located. Then you click Save Configuration. Then you go back to the channel, EPG. And go to DVB Inputs. Okay, now there I have two HD home run tuners so that each tuner gives me two tuners in the box. So I have a total of four tuners. And so we want to go to networks. First we want to create a network. Click add and the network type. North America, we use ATSC. I'm going to name it HD Home. That's the name of it. And I'm going to use a predefined muse. So I'm going to use the United States ATSC frequencies. So I'm going to select that. We want an initial scan. We want the network discovery. The character set, we'll set that to auto. Leave that unchecked. Now click create. Okay, we just created our network. Now let's go back to the TV adapters. Now if we go to, well, let's look at Muses. When we, when we told it the ATSC US for the US, it grabs the Muses, the ones that are available. So go back to the TV adapters. Now go to the one itself. Network type, again, it's ATSC, save, next, the next one, same thing, it's an ATSC tuner, and you see they've got different IP addresses, because it's two separate boxes, those are networked tuners. Now we want to enable that, the networks, we want to make it to the one we created, Initial scan, yes. Idle scan, no. Uh, we don't need that. Click save. Now we do that to the next one. We create the HD home run. Don't forget to enable it. We don't want the idle scan. Click save. Go to the third one. Enable it. HD home run is my network. Uncheck the idle scan, save it. Go to the fourth one. Enable it. Network HD Home Run. Save it. Okay, now we've got those done. Now we, are, we already set up our network. We've looked at our muses. Now it's still not going to start automatically looking for that. So I'm going to check on this. It'll show me the system log. I can also go to the status screen. Right now it's not showing anything, but in a minute or so, it's going to start grabbing me. It's going to start looking at my tuners, as it's doing now. So it's scanning my tuners for all the available frequencies. If I go back to configuration again and go to services, they'll start showing up here. Let's go to muses. Services. Okay, it hasn't found any yet, but it's still looking. Go back to the status. Oh, now it found one, two, it found uh, some services. Well, you got to remember now, it's scanning all those channels looking for a service. 
So we know that it's working. And you see right down here. There's a lot of the channels, obviously, it's going to fail because I don't have anything on that channel, as you can see here. Uh, let's go back to configuration again. Ah, under services. It's starting to find them. So I'm going to go ahead and pause that for a couple minutes until it finds them. It's still looking. Now a lot of these that it finds, uh, my antenna does not bring them in, so I will exclude them in the next screen. Go back to status. It is still searching my tuners. It actually doesn't take that long to scan them all in. Now while it's scanning, to set up the, uh, the TV guide, I use uh, uh, Schedules Direct and I create the files on my computer and then I copy them to my uh, uh, open ELEC uh, box using my computer. And you have to use your um, setup screen on your open ELE setup to configure where your location is for your guide data. But you have to use that from your box. All right, it's still scanning, so I'm going to pause it again. As you can see, it's still scanning. Let's go back to the configuration and see what all it's found so far. Again, we're under the Services tab. And it's found all these channels. But again, some of these channels I do not receive very well. So I will uh, delete those when I get to the next screen. After I map them, I will set up what I want. So I think it's pretty much, let me go back to the status. Yep, it's almost done. Okay, and it's done now. Go back to the configuration. We've got all these that have scanned. Now, here's the key. We have to map them all. I want to check the availability. I don't have any encrypted channels, so I don't worry about that. I want to merge the same name, if any, and I want to create the provider tags. Now, I'm going to map them. And it found 52 channels. However, some of those I only get about uh, 50 to 60 percent signal strength, and that does not give me enough signal to actually watch them without uh, breaking up, so I will eliminate those. So right now what it's doing is mapping those TVs so it's accessible to open ELXC and uh, uh, your PVR front end. And the PVR client front end is on uh, Kodi. Any Kodi on any box on your network can have a true uh, DVR function. Okay, it's done mapping them. I close that. Now I go back over to channels, EPG. Now here's all the channels it found. And there it says storage. That's where I added the uh, location for my icons for the uh, channels. And some of these I will have to uncheck, like that one there I don't get. So I uncheck those, I click save. Now the EPG sources, it takes a little while for those to show up, but I go to edit. And here I like to put the number in front of it, so I put 2.2. .2. And then the EPG source, okay, it hasn't showed up. It takes about 5 or 10 minutes for that to show up. So I'll just go ahead and save that. And it, like I say, it will take about 10 or 15 minutes. But when I get done, 
All I have to do is do that, go to edit, I'm going to change that to 7.1. Says it showed up yet. No, nope, still hasn't showed up yet. Save. So I will come back in about 15 or 20 minutes and then I will add in the EPG. So that will be the end of the demonstration. Thank you.